Telling Jerry to sell his coins when Chris started to take I've been telling Jerry to sell his coins for over a month now. I told him that with the way the market was anticipating it, but and with the way the anticipation was overstretching, that the market was going to disappoint a lot of people. The moon looked at me and laughed and told me to watch. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> now, Jerry has lost all the profits he has made from crypto in the course of time. He has lost part of the investment he invested in crypto. Can you imagine that boy? No. I like it when people don't listen to me and they come back to me crying. I get to tell them, I told you so. Clearly. <laughs> Is anything wrong? Nothing. <clears throat> I'm fine. Okay. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Have you finished cooking? Check the kitchen. Thanks. Babe, you're looking pale. Are you sure you're okay? I'll be easy that time of the month. Hang on now. I'm coming. It's too late for you to start traveling. Abi, do you want bandits to come and kidnap you? Then the president will be ransom for me. Anyways, he's already on his way, so. Okay, now, I'll just order something to eat. Yeah, do whatever that makes you happy. What was that supposed to mean? Nothing. It didn't sound like nothing. There is something disturbing you. It's eating you little by little. So why don't you just say it? You just said you should do whatever that makes you happy. Yeah, boy, it's the way you said it. There's something clearly disturbing you. I'm fine, okay? Nothing. Fine. I'll do just that. Yeah. Andy. 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 So, there's something troubling you. I can say that. Then what's all this? What do you mean by what's all this? Did I tell you there's anything wrong? Oh, I don't have time for this. Now that it consigns your stomach, you're running around looking for what to eat. But anytime it consigns me, eh? You, you, you just, you don't care. Your things are scattered around the house like a child. I have to take care of you all the time. Please, where is all this coming from? What has gotten into you? Oh, now I'm possessed. I didn't say you were possessed. Eh? All I said is a few minutes ago, you said you were okay. Now you're dropping all this on me. Mm. Is it now you want to lecture me on my tardiness because I left my jacket on the chair a few days ago? What's all this? See, What's wrong with you? Andy, Andy, let's start from let's start from the very beginning. On how you make me feel 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 so dumb. Eh? You make me feel so dumb. You always look down on me. All of my ideas, you always make it look so inadequate. All the time. You want things to be about you. It's always about you, Andy. What is all this now? Eh? What is all this one? For every decision we've made together, haven't we made those decisions together? Oh, really? The last time I checked, hmm? you make decisions without me. You more or less tell me about your next course of action. 
No, okay. you're talking about Independence Day at Martin's house. Mm. Yeah, you made me look stupid. And I've apologized. But it's not as if your idea was the best idea out there. Fine. My idea was not the best idea out there. And the least my own boyfriend could do, the least thing you could do was make me feel like the, like the worst person ever. Now you're exaggerating. Oh really? I'm exaggerating. I mean, you told me to shut up that you were being serious. But well, we were being serious now. And your idea was sounding like a joke as at the time. Really? You know what is a joke? It's how long I get to put up with this. You, do you understand what I'm saying? How long I get to put up with this? That is oh. what the joke is. So I'm the problem in this relationship. I'm the reason police goes about harassing your boys, right? I beg you, just be silly. Uh. Sorry it took me this long to find out. Because I've been so busy updating you and turning you to the envy of every boy and girl you come across. Really? Yeah, it is, Abby. Now you have to remind me of how much it takes you to maintain me. Am I wrong? Eh? Am I wrong? Do you know how much it costs to fix your nails? Let's not talk about your lashes or how much your hair swallows. Eh? All this costs money. One would expect that if you can put on these expensive things, then you can work for them. But no, you'd rather stay on Instagram and be shaking your ass for your thousand male perverts that you call followers. Andy, social media is the only way I can express myself. Sure, and you're really expressive. You can just talk in a shower day, right? You have no other way to express yourself than to get naked. You can't talk or preach. If you feel you must, go to the pool or the beach. Set yourself free. But no, my girl must show the whole world her body. Oh my god, Andy, really? Eh? This is what you have to say, Abby? Really? I didn't know it was not our body, oh. I didn't know it was not our body. See, let me tell you, eh? I have every right to do what I want to do with this body. Do you know what I'm saying? And you do. But in as much as you want to express yourself, have you thought about the impact of your expression on those that you care about? Imagine if your dad walked into his colleague and saw him masturbating to your video. How would he see you? I'm not a monster! Sure, but some men are dogs. It would take them way less than a brass strap for them to have a hard on. But you don't care about that. You don't care if you make them uncomfortable. It's all about you. It's the same way with the way you behave. Immature. Insecure. Every damn time. See, let me just tell you. My insecurity is born out of your secrecy. I get to do things about you from others. Things you're supposed to tell me. Eh? You've not shown any seriousness with the things that matter to you. It's the things that concern my work you want to be serious about. Look at the kitchen. Can you be serious about that? No. You say you want me to be more concerned. I should be less sad. Very good. I'm going to wash the plates. Then after that, I'll cook for you to cover my needs. Why not doing more serious things and shaking your ass on TikTok? Get the hell out of here. my father's death. I used to have this night where apparently I wake up in the middle of the night and cry. I will cry. Begging. Praying. Telling God if you could just bring back my father. No. And if it's just one, so that I can see him, tell him 
how much I miss and love him. And then you came around and I felt that he had answered my prayers because he overwhelmed me with so much love and care. But you know what? I think I was wrong. Yes, I was wrong. He didn't give me my father. No, he didn't give me back my father. But he gave me you. And I felt, yes, he's doing this because he wanted to show me that I could, I could open my heart and love again. But I was so wrong. Because my, my nightmare just left my dreams. It's not sleeping with me on the same bed. Wow. Nice one. No, really nice. She should have just called me Saz now. No, better still, call me Nepa. Since he hates me more than anything else. You mean, you took all that time and my attention, no, my dear attention, to tell me all this. It must have taken you a very long time to practice this speech. Really mature. And Andy! Andy! Is that all you can? Okay, I understand you need to flex your muscle and show off your, your, your masculinity, okay? But that does not give you the right 
to make me feel inferior. It does not. All right. See, I understand. I must have. I, 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 I agree. I've relapsed in my professional development, but that is because I depend so much on your your ability to provide. Okay. You know me very well. I am not lazy. I have a job and it pays well. Even if it does not pay as much as yours do. But I am not a lazy girl. I am not lazy. Don't say that to me. Yes, it is. But you can do so much more. You are a very smart girl. And with the right skill and guidance, there is no telling how far you can go. See, I understand, okay? I understand. I know that I have been too comfortable and I have to... Uh, Walk myself out, out of my comfort zone. I've been too dependent on you. See, now I don't all see finish. Eh? Wow. So that was all you could take from that. I don't understand. You never see me finish. You never see me finish, Andy. If you never see me finish, will you be talking to me like this? Eh? Will you be talking to me like this? Anytime I, I come to meet you to ask you what is happening, how you are faring, what is bothering you, 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 don't, you don't even want to listen to me. You don't say anything, all you do is keep silent. Eh? And the silence, it's, it's killing me, Andy. It's killing me. Eh? I'm always alone. I'm always, always alone. Eh? You don't know how far my mind can go. Making me ask myself if I'm even your main girlfriend, I'll be a side chick. I don't even know. I don't have a side chick. Mm, you don't have a side chick. Ever since uh, Bitcoin started to drop, you don't have a side chick. Because both of us know that if you had money, you would not be in this house with me. You will be out there spending your money on those Okbanam girls. Now that's nonsense. Mm, that's nonsense. Uh -huh. That is it. I'm always saying nonsense. Every time I'm saying nonsense in this house. See, Andy, let me just tell you. Eh? Let me just tell you. You see this thing you are doing is very unfair. It's very unfair. You don't talk to me. You don't speak to me. Instead of you to talk to me, you rather drown yourself in smoke, making smoke in your companion. Then why are we dating? Why are we dating? Why am not? Why am I here? If you cannot speak to me, why am I here? Is it only to cure Konji? Is that the only thing you think of me? You know that's not true. I don't know anything again. I don't know anything about you anymore. I don't. All right. I used to think I do, but now I am so wrong. You have a lot of secrets. You have a lot of secrets. At least thank God you don't lie. Eh? Instead of you to tell me the truth, you choose to just be silent. You choose to be silent, eh? So would you prefer I lie? I would prefer you talk to me. I would prefer you talk to me. I would prefer you come honest. I would prefer you communicate with me. That is what I want, okay? The only time you communicate is when you want someone to wash the dishes or make food for you to eat. That is the only time you communicate. It's not fair. It's not fair to me at all. Eh? This thing is it's making me sick. I am tired. And any time I talk about it, you say I'm nagging. Really? Nagging? Really, I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm really tired of talking about this. No jokes. Beth, I'm going. with my auntie's son, Emma. Is that why you changed your mind about going to the party? <laughs> Very much so. I'm just saying, you know, since you're tired of me, 
Who knows? You guys could see in the party and eat it off. Who knows? The next time I see you, you could be in Dubai or probably going shopping, preparing for your first child's birthday. Please, Andy. I'm tired of arguing with you. Please, I beg. I didn't mean to argue. I. I was just trying to crack a joke. Well, it's not funny. I know. I know. Then why did you say it? Huh? Do you derive joy in hurting me? Not at all. Then why do you keep doing things that always hurt my feelings? Why? Andy. Work hasn't been fair on me recently. I've been on a lot of pressure recently and I haven't handled it better. I lost a lot of money recently and it's been messing with my head. Profit has been on a constant nose dive and the price of things have been skyrocketing. And I've been finding it so difficult to provide for myself, support my family and take care of you. And let's be honest, you've not been economical with your spending. You didn't tell me these things. I know. But you're always carried away by lifestyle gist and social media. It's all you ever talk about. You don't talk about work or any professional ambition anymore. I felt you weren't ambitious enough to understand how I really felt. And you millennial girls, you don't understand that relationship is more than riches. My friends that backslided financially, their girls dumped them. So you've been preparing yourself for my breakfast by distancing yourself from me? Eh? Not completely. Andy. You can say so. Andy, listen. I don't love you because of your money. Okay? I don't love you because of your pocket. I don't. I understand that things are difficult. I know, okay? But it's not because of your money I fell in love with you now. Okay? Yeah. I'm not the best to love. I get that. I have a certain level of pride and expectation that I expect of myself. And recently, I've not been able to meet that expectation. And it's been messing with me. It has turned the most little irritation. I've been very bad at communicating my emotions. And it has ruptured us so much. I just hope you don't hate me too much. Andy, I can't hate you. I don't hate you. Okay? I just want to know if I'm still in your life or not. Look, you mean the world to me. Nobody has gone half the things you have gone through for my matter. Okay? Enjoy yourself at the party. Don't talk to Louise. Avoid him. I don't think I'm going again. Kind of too late to travel. Okay, no problem. No problem. You know I love you. Right? 